If you've been uh, joining us for the last three hours, or you, even if you're just joining us, we've been talking about that 5.8 magnitude earthquake that uh, rocked the entire East Coast uh, about 10 minutes to two earlier today, and it has it has caused nothing but chatter all over the internet, all over everywhere, even the schools. It's centered in Virginia too, and that's why we felt it very strongly here in Hampton Roads. Uh, Cape Henry Collegiate, that's where 10 on your side's Melanie Woodrow is right now, and she has uh, a little lesson for us, Melanie. <laughs> I do, I'll, I'll turn it over to the experts for the lesson part, but I have to tell you here at Cape Henry Collegiate, they have probably one of the only analog seismograph machines. Am I getting this right, Deb? In, in possibly all of Hampton Roads. This is Deborah Duffy. She's a science teacher here in Virginia Beach. Deborah, tell me about this machine and, and the exciting things we're seeing on this machine this afternoon. Well, it's quite exciting because we have never had an earthquake of this magnitude in the recorded history in Virginia. And um, so today the faculty were working quietly in their rooms preparing for the students to come in tomorrow, uh, next week. And we had that earthquake that everybody felt. And everyone ran down here, knew where to come, and this is what we picked up. It's quite fascinating. We picked up the P waves, the S waves, and the surface waves all while it was happening. And, and that squiggly line that I'm seeing there, talk to me about that. Okay, the squiggly line, uh, we have our first occurrence, the P waves, then the S waves, and the squigglies that are the biggest here are the surface waves, and those types of uh, seismic waves are the ones most responsible for um, the shaking of the ground and any damage that may occur during an earthquake. And show us as well, show the viewers the one that we had last week that this machine picked up a little bit as well. Uh, actually, it was yesterday, Colorado. We picked it up right here. It's not quite as prevalent. But so on this sheet of paper, we have both Colorado and Virginia in, in 24 hours. Did you ever imagine you'd have something like this here as a teacher in Virginia Beach? No, absolutely, absolutely not. Not here in Virginia. We do have small earthquakes occasionally, but nothing to this magnitude. Deb, I bet this changes your lesson plan for day one of school. Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> 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 to go home and sort of uh, start over again on that lesson plan. Exactly, exactly, yes. All right, thanks so much, Deb. I want to bring in uh, one of the students who ha happened to be here today. This is Dylan Cake. He's 11 years old. Dylan, tell me what you felt. Um, I was sitting on my mom's table and then all of a sudden the table started to shake a little bit and then I heard everyone running towards the little seismograph so it just kind of felt like sitting out in the ocean on a surfboard or something it was like yeah yeah was it scary it was a little bit and also kind of exciting too Kind of exciting, too. All right, thanks so much, Dylan. Welcome. So, I mean, that's the experience that some folks had here at the school. But again, obviously, a very different science lesson that will be taking place here on the first day of school in uh, just about a week, I think you said. So um, exciting for a lot of students anyway, and really for adults as well here in Virginia, in the Virginia Beach area, some of us who are very new to this occurrence. Guys? Yeah, very different science lesson they definitely will be teaching when, when uh, school starts. We've had so many things going on today with not just the hurricane, but all.